Guess what we're doing today? Oh my gosh, you guys, we recently reached 1 million subscribers. Thank you so much for helping us reach that goal. We have a few million subscriber videos planned, but the first one is we got to make a cake. We got to make a cake to celebrate 1 million subscribers. So that is what we are doing today. Welcome back to Gone to the Snow Dogs, where we show you what life with your dog can and should be like. We're gonna make a cake. <laughs> so we will be making a tiered cake. I will have a kit listed down in the video description below if you guys would like to get your own cake pan or any of the other things we use in today's video. If you don't wanna use this, this recipe will make two round eight inch pans or two bone shaped pans. If you only want one cake, Cut the recipe in half. All right, let's get to it. First thing we gotta do, preheat that oven. So we have all of our ingredients laid out here, which we will quickly go through for you guys. First, the dry ingredients. We are using gluten-free flour. This is cup for cup measure gluten-free flour. I didn't put it in the bowl yet, honey. You can use an all-purpose flour or a wheat flour. Both of those should substitute perfectly for this recipe. Hey. Get out of peanut butters. We're working on the dry ingredients first. Yeah, I know, you think that's funny? As I said, two cups of flour, and then one teaspoon of baking soda. And we're gonna mix this together. And now we have a bigger bowl for all of the wet ingredients, which the dogs are super excited to try this stuff. <laughs> oh, these girls are ready for these wet ingredients. First, one cup of unsweetened Applesauce, yes, unsweetened applesauce. Here we go, pour it in. So next we will be adding one cup of pure pumpkin. Remember, this is pure pumpkin, not pie pumpkin. I guess you guys can try a little bit. Okay, 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 we gotta use it for the cake. What are you doing? You can't eat all the ingredients. And then we will be adding half a cup of peanut butter. You wanna try some? Oh man, oh my goodness, that was a big try. You wanna try, you wanna try some? Gonna be a little less than half a cup. We're gonna have to measure some more out. What do you think? <laughs> so for those of you wondering, I use the natural Jif peanut butter. Whatever peanut butter you decide to use, just make sure there is no xylitol in it. Wait, is that good stuff? Yeah, peanut butter is the best, huh? All right, we have added in the peanut butter. The dogs are still. Is it on the roof of your mouth? That's what peanut butter does, guys. That's what it does. Here, you want some more? She's like, heck yeah, I want some more. It's on your nose. All right, let's finish adding this stuff. And now we are going to add two eggs. Memphis got peanut butter on the table, can you tell? We are also going to add a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. You could also use vegetable oil if you would like. You guys don't wanna eat this either. This isn't very good by itself. And then a half a cup of water. That's just, it's just water. Would you like some water? It's not that exciting, it's really just water. Apparently it's exciting. So now we have our dry ingredients, we have our wet ingredients. We are going to take our hand blender, just because it's easier. I'm going to mix these dry ingredients together a little bit and then mix the wet ingredients together and then we'll mix them all together. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan? They're like, can we just please lick the bowl of wet ingredients like now? <laughs> She's like, I really would like to, but I won't. All right, let's do that. So when it's all mixed together, it's gonna look about like that. A Little bit thicker than a standard cake batter, but trust me, it's gonna work. And now, the beater. Who wants to lick a beater? Weird, how did I know you both would? <laughs> is that the good stuff? Say, yeah, this is the best part about cooking, is eating all the ingredients. Next, we are going to fill the cake pan. Now, if you are using this exact tiered cake pan, you are gonna fill it almost all the way to the top because the cake's gonna rise and we want it to look like a tiered cake. If you have cake on you. If you are using an eight inch round pan or one of the bone shaped pans, you fill it about two thirds of the way. It's pretty much to the top for this tiered pan. And we'll show you why after we bake it. You wanna try some? Some batter? All right, you guys, we are going to pop this in the oven. Now, if you're doing a standard cake, like I said, an eight inch round or the bone shaped cake, 25 to 30 minutes, stick your toothpick in it, see if it's done. If you are using this, 
45 minutes at 350. That's what you're gonna put it in there for. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. We also feel like this is a wonderful time to remind you guys, hey, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that bell and turn on all notifications so you'll know whenever we put up fun new videos. I can't believe we finally hit a million subscribers. This is so exciting. I have so many more fun, exciting videos to share with you guys. Thank you so much for being here and for being a part of what we do. We couldn't do this without you guys. We think, we think. All right, cake should be done soon. So if you are using the tear cake pan, your cake is gonna look a lot like this. Basically what I do is I take a knife and I cut this whole piece right off the top. The cake is not actually done. I'm gonna put this back in the oven for 15 more minutes because it is not fully done yet. So if you're using the tear cake pan, that's my secret for it. Ta-da! So once you take your cake out of the oven, let it cool completely before decorating it. So there are a few different ways that you can go about decorating your cake. You can use like a cream cheese frosting or a Greek yogurt frosting, but today we are actually going to be using Magifrost. Remember that kit I told you about down below? This will be in there as well. This is dog cake frosting. It takes a little bit to dry, very easy to use, and it kind of dries hard. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up, frost a cake. It takes a couple hours for it to dry, so uh, let's see what it looks like. Well, my friends, there we have it. The Magifrost frosting worked great. I made a cookie for up on the top, put a little bit of sprinkles on, worked with some dog fondant, which is not as easy as you would think, and this is our one million subscriber celebration cake. Oh my gosh, and now it's time for the dogs to give it a try. All right, million subscriber taste test. Come on, Memphis. Ooh, she got to figure it out. She's like, whoa, what is this? I got to figure this out. You don't even, she doesn't even know what to do with it. Oh yeah, there's a cookie on top. She took the cookie. She's like, guys, I've never had a cake like this. I'm not really sure what to do. There you go, good girl. Good job. <laughs> I really thought she was gonna like, suck this thing down, but she doesn't really have it figured out. You got it. Yeah, take it off the plate. Oh, she figured out that there's cake on the bottom. You figure it out? I'm gonna eat this whole entire cake. That whole entire cake is for you. Kira gets her own. Good stuff. All right, it's Kira's turn to eat her cake. Come on, Kira. It's over there. It's right there. There you go. Says so like, I couldn't figure it out. And a cookie. I'm gonna eat this cookie. It'll be delicious. She's like, forget the cookie. I'm going for the rest of it. Did the same thing Memphis did. Cookie first, huh? There you go, good girl. Good job, yeah. There you go, you did it. You're getting it, you're getting it, yes! Good girl. This is like, oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much cake here, that's delicious. Best cake you ever had in your life? Best cake ever had in my whole life. Thank you guys so much for helping us to reach 1 million subscribers. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell to turn on all notifications. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. We did it, we hit a million.